And although we're into autumn, Mark, you've still got a salad on the menu, and I'm liking the sound of this, nice and fresh and delicious. What, are, what is it? Yeah, and that's it. We're going to make a little bit of a different salad today. You know, main ingredients, we've got apples in there, parsnips, and who says we can't put some nice parma ham in the mm. uh, salad as well. We're going to flake that through. We're going to make a beautiful dressing, and we're also going to do a little uh, something special with the parma ham a little bit later to finish the salad. Something special with the parma ham. Okay, <laughs> you've convinced me, Mark. Salads, as you know, salads are in and I can eat them during autumn as well. Okay, great to have you with us. We are here in the Beko kitchen and Mark, we're creating a great salad yep. which is going to be perfect for a delicious lunch because some people like a salad, you know, just as a side, but you can actually turn it into a whole meal, can't oh, you? Oh, this, this mm. is going to be it's going to be a nice sort of textured, crunchy you know, rich salad as yep. well, you know, so it's going to be a meal in itself, so perfect to make in the morning take it to work Good. and have a great lunch. You know? There you go, and I'm pleased you're using the parsnip too. You're quite well, yeah, fond so of the parsnip. So we're going to use the parsnips, and, and the best thing about the salad, you know, there's no cooking in it. Great. Well, I'm going to show you something a little bit later. That's what okay, we've got cool. planned okay, on yeah, the, uh, right. the so, Okay, well, let's get salad in. Right, so, so we're going to peel it. So you can chop it if you want, but just be careful because you've got a core, obviously, in the parsnip. Mm -hmm. But a really good way to get away from chopping is just peel it, you know. You can do this for every, any vegetable pretty much, you right. know, carrots. Yeah. And, and this salad, you know, use it as a, as a, as a guide recipe. And, um, you know, put anything you want in there. Celeriac works really well with these ingredients. Yeah. You know, you could do beetroot in there. You could do carrot in there. You know, anything. And, the nice. yeah, the beauty is you just want this nice sort of texture from the raw vegetable. And you get a really good clean flavour as well. So you're just going around, turning it, and getting these nice strips. Nice work. Yeah, the fragrance from that pasta, it's incredible, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and you get a nice bit of good. sweetness as well. So, so we've got the ham as well, which is going to be yep. salty. You've got the sweetness. Do you want me to do that, Right, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I was going to say, I was getting bored of yeah. that. <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> yeah. Right, so you've got, uh, got another two parsnips there. Okay, well, I'll be busy. Right, you will be busy. Right, so we're going to make a dressing now. So lots of uh, strong, creamy, rich flavours in the dressing, just to bulk it out. Yeah. Got a little bit of vinegar there, but we're going to start with some mayonnaise. So just uh, just some nice mayonnaise, what you've got at home in the cupboard. So it'll be a mayonnaise base, but we're also going to put some creme fraiche in it as well, just okay, to get good. some extra creaminess, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's quite a nice thing to do. Yeah. So mix all those together. Oh, by the way, have you got salads in your cookbook? Salad yeah. and cooking? Yeah, no, I've got a salad in there, a duck, duck salad. Oh, nice. Duck salad. Yeah, duck, yeah. Duck salad, okay. Oh, I better open it up and get it. Yeah, Thanks for the coffee, by that. the way. I'll swipe right. you the cash later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, and then we're going to put some mustards in there. So I've got whole grain mustard here, so that gives us a nice bit of texture. And I've also got some Dijon mustard as well, so we get a, a smoother, sort of sweeter style of uh, mustard. Yum. So that works really well as well, you know, with the, with the ham. So look at that. Look how rich and lush that is already. Nice. Right, a little bit of salt and pepper. Yep. And we need a bit of lemon juice as well, just to um, cut the acidity. But before I juice it, I'm just going to zest a bit of lemon Oops. zest yeah. into the parsnip here. Oh, I'll have to eat it now. <laughs> mm. I thought you'd nearly finished, actually. No, it's a bit slow. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put a bit of uh, lemon juice in there, and that's just going to help cut through the richness, bring the flavours out. All right, we'll give that a little taste. Beautiful, Good. that's ready to go. So. Parsnips in here, or yep. celeriac, or any sort of vegetable. Give it a light season. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of lemon juice in as well, and that's going to help just get some flavour in there. Just toss it around, and it will just slowly sort of soften it and wilt and bring some flavour out. So you can do that a couple of minutes before we dress it. And then we're going to we're going to chop some apple. We're going to toast some nuts, and we're going to bring everything together in a minute. It's going to be great. Probably the best salad you've ever tasted. I would say so. Coming from you, Chef Mark, it will be okay. We'll get the next steps to this hearty salad very soon. What's next to create this salad? If you just joined us, this is quite good because we've we've basically peeled this pasta because you don't want the core, do you? No, no, we don't want the core. Right, but you, can you do anything with this once you've used well, it? Well, to keep that and then make a vegetable stock out of it, nice. or use that as a base for a soup. Tell yeah. you something I've just got recently, so I don't want to wave that around. <laughs> I um, got a worm farm, so it'll be perfect for the worm farm too. If you don't a want worm it for the farm, soup. have yeah, you named all your worms? Home. No, no, not yet. <laughs> How many worms have you got? Oh, hundreds of them. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're just going to uh, toast some walnuts in there, just to give us yep. a bit of texture in there. So a little bit of colour in there, and you can throw that in the salad. Okay. And then I've got some parma ham here, so this is great. So this is salty, yeah. so it's going to give us a nice salty kick. Um, into the salad and a little bit of meatiness. You know, obviously, if you want to keep it vegetarian, don't put the ham in. True. Well, I'm just going to tear it in. That's nice. going to go in the salad. By the way, how do you know when your walnuts are browned? Because they're already brown. 
Just look at them. OK. <laughs> You'll have to tell me when. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, yeah. You, oh, the they're, brown, they're... the cooked! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they came like that, mate. OK. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on them. <laughs> yeah, just so they get a, 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 a touch darker. But you'll, as it toasts, you'll start to smell it as well. OK, good. Sweet. Right, so we're going to we're gonna put a little bit of ham through it. Mm. So look at that. It's beautiful. You know, that would be great just to eat like that. Um, and then we're also going to do, so once they're toasted... Yes. ..in a dry pan as well, we're going to pan fry a few of these uh, slices so they just really lightly and they'll get really crispy and crunchy mm -hmm. and that will just serve that on top. It's going to be great. Right, so you can put some basil as well. OK, cool. So just, just get your leaves and you just want to tear it, you know? It's just really rustic, just into some okay. random little pieces like that. Sweet. I'm going to get some apple. So I'm just going to do it into some nice um, slices. So just do slices around the core. Oh, nice and juicy that apple. And isn't then, it? yeah, no, it's beautiful. You know, use red, use greens. You know, greens are a bit more sort of acidic okay. and crunchy. Your red ones are a little bit sweeter. So you know, whatever your preference is, just nice little matchsticks. Now you don't want it too fine. So we've got some texture in there. Yep. Look at that. It's come and along then, nicely. This is going to be a delicious salad. I reckon you're right. Oh, this could be the best you, salad yeah. I've ever had. It's going to be great. You know, it doesn't all need to be like green leaves and uh, vinegar and oil. No. You know, <laughs> Make it exciting. We, what, <laughs> my salad at home is usually a bit of uh, Green leaves and lettuce. lettuce and tomato, usually. That's it. A bit boring, so I'm going to spice it up a bit. Right, so just got a little bit of vinegar going in there as well. Yeah. So that's really going to give us a, a mm. kick, and it just loosens that um, dressing out, you know, so it's not too thick. You know, if it's too mayonnaise-y, sometimes it, it gets sort of thick and stodgy. You know, you don't, you don't want that. Right. I'm going to put a little bit of this on and we'll just toss it all around. Right, you can throw your nuts in there now. OK, cool. <laughs> OK, enough basil? Yep, yep. OK, sweet. You're brown enough? I didn't even look like they changed yeah, colour. Yeah, they've, they've changed colour. They were that colour when we started. <laughs> you can <laughs> smell them. Toasted. I can actually smell them. I'm going to save one to eat, though. Yeah, see? Does it taste toasted? Mmm. Good. Perfect, actually. There you go. We're just going to, just going to pop a little bit of that in. You know, you want to just do it in a dry pan as well, because you've got this little bit of fat which is just going to melt and it's going to help make that crispy. But don't take it too far because it'll go really crispy and uh, shrivel up, but it, because it's already salted, it'll go too salty. So okay. you just want a little, just really do it lightly over a, a really low heat. And then we'll... What's that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And it's then, my uh, basil explosion in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. So, so we'll dress that. You know, don't, don't be shy. You know, have enough dressing on so it's all nice and coated. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, you know, and a little tip as well. You know, you know, you know, with like if you've got green leaves and you dress it with a vinaigrette, you want to do it last minute so it doesn't sort of swim in it and wilt and go down. You know, with this sort of salad, because we've got lots of hearty vegetables uh, and a nice creamy um, dressing. You know, dress this about five, even ten minutes before, you know, if you're going to serve it, like, straight away, uh, just to develop all those flavours as well. But, you know, do this in the morning before you go to work. By the time you eat it at lunchtime, it's going to be brilliant. Right. Are you happy with your ham? What do I need to do so there? Just a little bit more. We just, yep. uh, just well, have just a little, flip it over. Yep. Yeah. You know, so you're just getting that. Just a touch more, and then that just goes on top, and you get the different textures mm. between the ham and the saltiness. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to taste this. <laughs> <laughs> that looks amazing. Right, so the key is now is just to make it look beautiful. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> and, then, and then look at that crispy ham. Mm. Oh. Break it off. This is the best part of the salad. You know, you can forget the salad, just do this. Oh, yum. And there you, you go. Know, look at that. A hearty salad that for autumn. That's the least green salad I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. <laughs>